This red line represents the fixed costs that a firm incurs. We assume that despite the output level, the fixed costs remain the same. Fixed costs may include things like equipment and contract labor. This line represents the variable cost, which increases production increases. This might include hourly labor and utility costs. At zero production, the fixed costs of $160 are still present. As production increases, variable costs are added to fixed costs, and the total cost is the sum of the two. Here is a schedule giving us a breakdown of costs a firm incurs based on the quantity of product it produces. Below it are calculations that define different cost types we will use to analyze firms and derive answers to the three questions presented in the last video. The information on total costs, fixed costs, and variable costs can also be presented on a per unit basis. Here are graphical representations of the cost types. Average total cost, ATC, is calculated by dividing total cost by the total quantity produced. The average total cost curve is typically a U shape. Average variable cost, AVC, is calculated by dividing variable cost by the quantity produced. The average variable cost line uh, lies below the average total cost curve and is typically U-shaped or upward sloping. Marginal cost, or MC, is calculated by taking the change in total cost between two levels of output and dividing it by the change in output. The marginal cost curve is upward sloping. 